The number of domestic violence calls is on the rise, especially in Cedric County. A study we first showed you on Cake News at 6 tonight says part of the problem is with the city of Wichita's court system and inconsistent use of a state certified counseling program. Many of the objections to the program are about how much it costs and how long it takes. But what about the cost when the city doesn't use it? Here's Cake News investigator Pilar Pedraza. You may remember this shootout with Wichita police last summer that left an officer injured and a man dead. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Investigators say it all started with a fight between the suspect and his girlfriend. It's part of an increasingly long list of domestic violence crimes across the city and the county. Um, violence Mary is um, intimately familiar with. Just walking on eggshells and the mental and physical abuse, the name calling, the accusations all the time. Mary um, asked us not to show her face yeah, or use her real name to protect her children. She's speaking up because she says something needs to change. A recent study commissioned by the Wichita Police Department determined that something includes the city courts making better use of a state certified batterer intervention program, a six month counseling program designed to help those who are violent figure out why they respond that way and find new ways to react. We can keep t taking care of victims forever. And, and we must. Yeah. And offenders will keep offending. We need to go upstream and stop the virus before it happens. Kurt and Christy Brungart lost their daughter to domestic violence back in 2008. Since then, they've become experts in BIP counseling. They helped pass the 2012 law that took BIP statewide, recommending judges send offenders for an assessment after their second offense. The Brungarts say the Wichita Municipal Courts told lawmakers that would be a bad idea. It was always about, well, that, that would really slow things down, that would clog things up, who's going to pay for this? It was always those kinds of words and discussions. State records show a city judge testified Central County didn't have the facilities, the money, or the people to take over what the city of Wichita was already doing, using a combination of one-day, 13-week, and 26-week diversion programs. He estimated if every case moved to the longest format, which BIP programs are, about a quarter of offenders would fail and end up in jail, costing the city more than a million dollars, about half its annual jail budget budget. District Court Judge Phil training. Journey says he's not surprised. Yes, I, th I think the whole system needs more training. And all too often, uh, while many will probably not admit it publicly, the money is a problem. Because these things all take money. Except in 88% of the cases, they did not have another person crime. A statewide study of BIP counseling in 2016 showed it had a much higher success rate than anyone expected. It's Dorothy Stuckey Halley, who helped set up the statewide program for the attorney general's office, says three years after completing the program. In 90 percent of the cases, they did not identify that that person had any more protection orders. Meanwhile, organizations like the Wichita Family Crisis Center continue to spend thousands of dollars per person to help folks like Mary get out of danger. I stayed for a long time just for the children's sake and that doesn't always help. Mary finally got out in part thanks to the public grants and private donations that keep the center running. And that's just one cost. Other costs include ER visits, often uninsured, meaning the hospital passes that cost on to other insured patients. Police time and resources spent responding to calls like Wichita Police Department's new domestic violence response team and lost hours at work, again, often passed on to consumers. Nationwide, that all adds up to more than $8.3 billion lost to domestic violence every year. Journey says that makes the cost of VIP counseling more than worth it. Early intervention prevents um, an aggravation of the circumstances and prevents an escalation in the violence. Just like Dennis Rader started torturing and strangling cats. How much time and money do you think the courts should have given if it would have saved your daughter's life? You know, I, I don't know that answer. And that's all. That I is do. Hard. Okay. As much as it takes. Yeah. If BIP works so well, why does the length matter? Shouldn't a shorter program work as well as long as it's the same total number of hours? We'll dig into that as we continue our dive into what some call a domestic violence epidemic Sunday at 10. Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, investigates.